Okay. So uh, let us uh, go to our uh, session. Okay. So under set transform and application, we have already uh, discussed how to perform the set transform for DT sequence. Okay. So we have basically uh, look at uh, finite sequence. Okay. Finite sequence and also infinite sequence. Okay. Infinite sequence. Uh, so under finite sequence and infinite sequence, we all, all we we have also discussed that anti causal and anti causal, causal and non causal signals also. Okay, so this type of uh, this type of uh, sequence. Okay, so we have we, now we should be able to find the Z transform of this type of uh, sequence okay finite or infinite sequence with the anti causal causal or non causal signals okay so we have already uh, done okay and uh, we have already find the region of convergent also okay so uh, you may have noticed that different different signals type will have different different roc uh, roc Okay, different different region of convergent. Okay, so that is the idea you should get. Okay, so please go through the lectures. Okay, then you can get the idea. Then you can go through the to your note also. Okay, so there are also uh, uh, the type of the the nature of the ROC is uh, is uh, summarized in that note also. Okay, but nature of the RO ROC, no need to keep in remember. Okay, uh, if you can, if you can uh, use your mathematical knowledge, and if you can uh, describe the ROC based on the maths, that is enough. Okay, no need to keep remember all the things. Okay, so that is why I normally didn't uh, discuss the summarization. Okay, uh, because we have already seen this one. Okay. Uh, but uh, we, uh, I have not, uh, uh, what is that called? I have not uh, highlighted that, okay? But uh, up to this level, we have analyzed or we have performed the set transform of these kind of signals, okay? And also we have, uh, I have done uh, how to find the uh, pole and poles zero plot. Hmm? Okay, plot of is a transformed signal. Okay, is a transformed signal. Okay, so I think uh, this is not much uh, uh, complex one. Okay, so any is transform. I think now you have already have uh, seen that any is transform can be uh, can be um, can be represented as a. Uh, can be represented as a rational function of Z, okay, like this, okay. So you will have a numerator and you will have a denominator, uh, both with uh, Z variable, okay, Z variable, okay. Uh, then if you have equal your uh, numerator, okay, if you have your if you have equal your numerator to zero and find the Z value, okay, this are uh, will be zeros, okay? And if you have, uh, so for this Z value, you can see that uh, the X Z will be, uh, will be reached to zero, okay? So these are called zeros. And if you have equal your uh, denominator, okay? The lower part to zero. And if you find the value of Z, for those value of Z, okay? Uh, this uh, X Z, will reach to infinity okay and these are called poles okay so this uh, uh, these zeros and poles are nothing but just a complex variable okay so all they are in complex plane okay so actually z is the complex plane so here we have a real z and here we have a uh, imaginary z okay so in this z plane or complex plane these z values are this is a Z value exists, okay? This is a values exist, okay? So zeros we can denote like this, okay? 
and poles we can denote using the cross. Okay, so this is the pole zero plot. Okay, so we have done some question examples also. Please go through that lectures, then you can get the idea. Okay, and then uh, we have discussed some properties of a transform properties. Okay, so under properties we have discussed two properties actually. That is linearity property. Okay, this is linearity property. And uh, there is the time shifting property. Okay, so these two properties we have already discussed. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, anyway, today I am not going to discuss these two. Um, these two. Uh, these two uh, properties, okay, because I have already discussed them, please go through that video, okay, then you can get the idea, okay. So these properties are very important actually, because uh, uh, using these properties, we can easily analyze a uh, system or signal from uh, using a transform, okay. So these properties are very much important, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so, okay, so today I will hope to do, okay, I will hope to do time uh, reversal property, okay, time reversal property, reversal property, okay, so uh, uh, don't get, uh, so you no need to worry, okay, because uh, if you still, if 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 you still doesn't have an idea about these two properties, it is okay. We can learn this one, okay? Okay, there is no any issue, okay? Actually, uh, already we have used this linear property, okay? But we didn't indicate it, okay? Okay, but uh, but time shifting properties. Uh, Actually, we have already uh, find the time shifted uh, signal also, okay? Uh, but uh, it is not highlighted, okay? So this type of question already now you can uh, you can uh, solve, okay? No, so don't need to worry. Uh, we will look at this uh, time reversal property, okay? So, so do you have any questions up to now? So it is okay to start here with here, okay? So I don't take time to discuss these two property, okay? Because it is already uh, described and uploaded to the LMS, okay? Then you can uh, you can go through that videos, okay? So I will start from here, okay? Uh, so. Uh, Actually, uh, time reversal properties, it is said that, okay? So let's go to this property, okay? Reversal property. Property, okay? So it is said that if we have a, a sequence, if we have a sequence Xn, okay? If we have a sequence Xn, okay, then, Mm, if we get the is a transform of this section, if we get the is a transform of this section, okay, so it will be x is a capital X is a okay. So let's say that uh, uh, the the ROC is R, okay, ROC is R, the region is R. So in is a plane, you will have any uh, region. So that region is R, okay? This value. So here some values, okay? So this is a this is a set actually, okay? This R means it is a set, okay? So you have a, you have some values here. So for those values of Z, okay? This X Z will converge. That is the idea, okay? Uh, okay. So let's say we have this kind of uh, Z transform, okay? And if you get the time reverse signal, that is x minus n, okay, x minus n. So this is the time reverse signal, okay. I think uh, you have learned these 
time manipulator. Actually, this is called time manipulating. Time manipulating or sometimes called time transformation. Time transformation, okay? Time transformation techniques, okay? Uh, in your signal and system, okay? Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> under time manipulating and time transformation, uh, actually there are three basic types. One is time shifting, okay? One is time shifting. Other one is time uh, reversal, okay? And other one is time scale, okay? So uh, in our signal and system, we, we are learning this uh, three uh, time transformation techniques, okay? So have you, uh, have you participated for the MATLAB demonstration? Uh, that is, uh, I think I have carried, uh, I have I have carried out that session. Okay, have you have you participated for that session? Um, so I have done a MATLAB uh, MATLAB demonstration for this time shifting uh, time time uh, transformation techniques. Okay, there I have shown that how the signal is varying when we have done. Uh, this time of time transformation in MATLAB, okay? Uh, okay, anyway, okay, so uh, so now we are talking about this time reversal, okay? Now we are talking about this time reversal. So if you are, if you are not, uh, if you can't uh, remember these things, okay, uh, please uh, refer your signal and system uh, note, okay? So this will be helpful, I think. For, uh, when you are fine, when you are learning the Fourier transform, also you are uh, you were learning about this kind of uh, Fourier transform properties, no? Okay, so actually same concepts are there. Okay, so here we are uh, we are talking about time reversal. Okay, so time reversal means uh, sometimes we call it time reflection. Okay, uh, in for time reversal also time for time reversal. We call it time reflection also. Sometimes we call time reflection. So, okay, because if we uh, so say that uh, the, so we have a, a signal like this. Okay, okay. So this is a signal. Okay, so this is a continuous signal. Okay, I have drawn a continuous signal. Okay, okay. So if I get the time reverse signal, okay, time reverse signal. That means x minus t. Okay, time reverse signal means x minus t. Okay, so it is uh, it is uh, it is also uh, it is also uh, named as time reflections. Okay, uh, so actually, when we get the time reverse signal, okay, we will have a uh, what is called that uh, the mirror image, mirror image of this uh, original signal of this xt uh, around the y axis around this axis. Okay, so this will this y axis will act as a mirror. Okay, act as a mirror. Okay, and for this signal time reversal signal, you will get the uh, mirror image. Okay, like this mirror image of the signal. Okay. So this is all. So this is a reflection actually. So this is also called as time reflection. Okay, time reflection. Okay. So this is uh, th this is true for the uh, discrete time sequence also. If we have an impulse like this, okay. If we get the time reverse impulse, we will have the image. We will have the image of this impulse. Then we will have the image of this impulse here. Yeah. We will have the uh, mirror image of the this impulse again here. So on. Okay. So we will have uh, the image uh, around the y-axis. Okay. So that is the time reverse signal. Okay. So anyway, if we get the time reverse signal, okay. If we get the time reverse signal, okay. If you get the time reverse signal, okay. So 
is a transform for that time reverse signal is x1 by z, okay, x1 by z, okay. So this will be the z transform, okay. Uh, that means if we have, uh, if we if we are given is a transform of this sequence x is a okay so this x is a we already know okay then we we want to we ask to find x minus n the time reverse signal is a transform so you can just uh, substitute the the one by is a terms to the is a terms of this uh, x is a okay then you can find the is a transform okay so we will try to find it okay and roc will be 1 by r okay roc will be 1 by r but it is reversing okay what is mean reversing now so what is uh, what is i meant by reversing is okay cell uh, tell tell this r is between some two value let's say r2 and r1 okay let's say r2 and r1 so this r is between this r2 and r1 okay so it is like this okay so here let's say this is r1 okay okay so the r is less than r1 okay so less than r1 and big than r r2 bigger than r2 so this is r2 okay so you are you are you are ROC will be this. Okay, let's say like this. So your RC will be like this. Okay. So if you get the ROC of this time reverse signal, okay, it will it will have some some like this. Okay. So the ROC of this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, time reverse signal. Let's say that it is R dash. Okay, so R dash will be, okay, between one by R1 and one by R2, okay. So you can see that this is here, R2 is less than R, okay. R2 is less than R, but here R1 is the greater than R, R1 is greater than R, but here one by R1 is less than R, and one by r two is uh, greater than r, but here it is less than r. Okay, so this is the idea. Okay, so if you get the ROC for this circle, okay, so you can get that. You can see that. So here the r r one is the bigger one. R one is the bigger region. Okay, so when you get when you get one by r one, it will be a smaller region. So this will be one by r one, okay. And uh, your r two will be one by r two will be the will be this region, okay. One by r two, okay. So your your uh, your r o c will be this, okay. R o c will be this. So still you can't. Un you may be not. Uh, you may not. To full understood this okay but uh, we will do some uh, we will do one or two examples i think then you can identify it okay so i will give you a so we will uh, do example okay so okay so if we are given xn equal a n u n okay so we are given this kind of signal signal okay I think we already solved this kind of question. We have already solved. Okay. So can you find the Z transform, Z transform and the ROC for this sequence? Can you find it? Okay. I think you can find this. Okay. So I hope uh, this kind of question I have already done. Okay. So I hope you can do this. Okay, please get five minutes and try to do this by yourself. Okay. Please get five minutes. I think five minutes is enough to find the uh, set transform. Okay. 
so i already told you that this un will only give you a idea about the n region n limits okay so this un is a causal signal you already know that this uh, un is a causal signal okay that means it has only plus sided value it has only plus sided value so it is a causal signal okay and this if you multiply this an by un so it the an will, will become a causal signal so this an also will have n limits from zero to infinity okay so that is the uh, that is the use of this uh, uh, unit step function okay there is no any impact or any use okay it is only to to tell you the limits of the uh, n limits of the n okay so if you want to if we want to you can write this same signal okay without using the un like this okay so a n will be n n is greater than zero or less than uh, infinity greater or equal okay less or equal than in the n is less or equal to zero and and sorry n is uh, greater than or equal to zero and less than infinity and zero if n is uh, n is less than zero okay so so without u n you can you can write this uh, this x n like this okay like this so what is you need what, what is the here what is the difference between this one and this one here only you have two lines and you have a bracket but here without this line and bracket we can just uh, we can simply write okay so that is the use of u n there is no any impact okay so did you get it okay so please try to find the is a transform for this sigma
Okay, I will quickly do this. Okay. So I think uh, no need to uh, no need to do the much exp explanation. Okay. So <clears throat> uh, so if you can see the si signal will look like this. Okay. So the xn will look like this. Okay. So here you will have n value 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. Okay. So at 0, a0, zero, so that is 1. Okay. That is 1. So at 1, it is a, a, a1. So that is a. Here yeah, it is a. So at 2, it will be a square. So it will be a square. At 3, it will be a uh, to the power 3. So on up to infinity. Okay. So if you if you see the uh, x is said, okay, if you see the x is said, x is said will be n minus infinity to plus infinity, x n is at minus n. Okay. So uh, so x is said will be uh, so here the x n it is n from zero to infinity. Okay. So this will be n from zero to plus infinity xn xn means a n is at minus n okay so you will have x is at s okay one um, a by is at plus a by is at the square plus a by is at to the power three so not to infinity so this is a power series okay and you will get uh, we have already done this okay so i am not going to explain it anymore so you will have one by a a to the power is at okay it a, a divided by is at okay so this is your x is at okay and there is a condition for this a is at value okay so this a is at value should be less than one okay so that means uh, the is at will be greater than a okay so this is the ROC for this X is at, okay? So this ROC means the is at, the magnitude of is at will be greater than me, okay? So if I, if I draw a circle, okay, with the center, center zero, okay? Uh, let's say the radius C is A, okay? So what is this circle? What is this circle? So this circle is, magnitude is at equal to a okay so that is this circle okay so here the roc is magnitude of is at this greater than a that means this area okay outside the outside this circle okay so this is the area okay so this area will be the roc okay so we have found okay so if i summarize the result okay we have xn okay and if we get the z transform if we get the z transform we have x z that is equal to one by one minus a z okay and roc will be z is greater than magnitude of a okay so this is the result okay now we are asked to find x minus n, okay? So we are given this, okay? Say that we already know this, okay? So now this is a data, okay? So now this is a data, okay? So we have already given this. Now we are asked to find the x minus n, okay? So can you find this? Can you find this and can you tell me what is the ROC? So you can see that, okay. So here you can see that it is uh, the signal, uh, the time reverse signal is here, okay. So you can see that we can we can use the time reversal property, this property, okay. So we can use this property, okay. We can use this property, okay. We can use this property. So uh, please uh, try to use this property and uh, find the Z transform and ROC. Takes two minutes, then I will do it. Okay. Oh.
just uh, just think about it think how to do this So you can directly use this uh, <clears throat> this time reverse uh, that this time reversal property. Okay. So if you have a x is n x n, so you have a x is n. Okay. Then x minus n will be x one by z. So instead of is this z, we have to substitute one by z. Okay. So that we can get the z transform. Okay. So so by z transformation we know that x minus n okay x minus n will be x one by z okay okay so this is the is a transform for this x minus n okay let's say that it is uh, so this is x and this is x let's say that this is x2 is it okay so the x minus n time reverse signal uh, time reversed signal is a transform will be x that means this is a transform x one by z okay okay so this is the z transform so if i get x2 z okay it will be so x z is this okay x z is this so it will be equal to x z okay x1 by z x1 by z that is it equal to so this is x z 1 by z means instead of this z we have to put 1 by z so here 1 1 minus a instead of this z it will be z minus 1 sorry 1 divided by z okay okay so here a divided by z now, now we have to a divided by one divided by z because this is x one is z. Okay. So if you if you couldn't understand, you can ask me. Okay. So this is very simple mathematics actually. Okay. So you can see that it is a divided by one by z. That means z will go up. Okay. So you will get one one minus a z. Okay. So this is the z transform. Okay. And what is the ROC? Okay. Okay. So I have already told you that ROC will be ROC will be. So here the ROC is is a D is greater than A. Okay. Is a D is greater than A. Is a magnitude of, of is a D is greater than A. So that is the ROC here. ROC for this. Uh, x is for this x is okay now i have told you that the roc will be 1 by r okay so that means 1 by a but it will interchange the region okay so here z is greater than but here z will be less than okay the magnitude of z will be less than 1 by z okay so this is the idea actually okay so we have found x minus n uh, is a transformation using x n is a transform okay and also we have found the roc okay okay so this is using this is using time reversal property so now uh, I think you have understand how we can apply this time reversal property to uh, to find 
a is a transform of a signal okay so definitely we should be given the uh, original signal then we can we can calculate the uh, the time reverse signal okay okay so so can you prove this can you prove this result can you prove this result so uh, so any any uh, method any approach any approach can you suggest any approach to prove this can you suggest any approach to prove this actually considering the things we have learned up to now So if you have gone through your note, you can see that uh, this is actually infinite causal function, no? it's an infinite causal signal, infinite causal signal, causal signal, okay. So for an infinite causal signal, the, the ROC will be look like this, okay. The Z is greater than a value. Any value we said this the magnitude of z will be greater than the uh, value okay so this will uh, so uh, in your note this property have summarized okay so what i told you is that you no need to keep uh, you no need to keep remember all these things okay okay so can you suggest any method to prove this Can you suggest any methods to prove this result? Actually, for this one, we can have the basic approach. No, <clears throat> what is the basic approach? What is the basic approach? First one is we can find the we can find the x minus n. Okay, we can find the x minus n. We can plot the x minus n. Then we can find power series expansion power series expansion then using that one we can uh, estimate the xz and roc no so this is the basic method okay so can you uh, let's uh, do this as exercise okay so can you try to find x minus n signal x minus n signal so anyone can tell me what what is the x minus so here you have already know that x n is a n u n okay okay so it is look like this it is look like this here zero we have here we have a okay here we have a square here we have a uh, to the power three here we have a to the power four, so on. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, so on. It will have up to infinity. Okay. So this is x n. So anyone can tell me what will be the x minus n? Okay. What is the equation for x minus n? And what is uh, what is it look like? What is the graph? How how this uh, signal? will look like so i think you can you can imagine this okay so i will tell you okay so uh, so here xn is given a n u n so x minus n means instead of this n we have to substitute minus n okay so x minus n will be a minus n u minus n correct okay so this is okay no okay so now we are going to find the signal okay now we, we can plot the signal okay so we know that 
uh, u minus n. What is u minus n actually? If you consider the u minus n, so you know that u n will be look like this. No, u n will be look like this. This is infinite. Okay. This is n. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So this is u n. And what is u minus n? What is u minus n? It is the time reverse signal, no? U minus n will be the time reverse signal. Okay. U minus n will be the time reverse signal. So you will have the mirror image of this sample around the y-axis, around this axis. So here zero point is there at zero. Okay. So this one will shift to minus one. Okay. So this T2 will shift to minus two. This three sample, third sample will shift to minus three, so on minus infinity. Okay. So this is the UN signal. This uh, this green color is the UN signal. So it is only a plus sided one. Okay. So it is only a plus sided one. Okay. And you so this is a causal signal actually. This is a causal signal. And your u minus n will be only minus sided signal minus sided signal and it will be an anti causal signal no? it will be an anti causal signal okay so how what happened to this actually so you can see that u minus n is from so this is actually to give on the uh, n value n limits so this is for give, give, give you a sense about n values, n limits. Okay. So u n, you can see that u minus n, it is from minus infinity to zero. So you have n value from minus infinity to zero. So you will have one, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, up to infinity. Okay. So no any plus sided value. Okay. So if you if you multiply then u minus n value. Okay, you minus if you if you multiply any signal by u minus n, the reverse time reverse unit step function. This is time reversed. Okay, this is time reversed unit step function. Okay, this is time reverse unit step function. So if you have multiplied, if you have multiplied any any signal with time uh, time uh, reversed unit step function it will become an anti causal signal no anti causal signal it will have only minus side okay so we have up to zero only okay up to zero only okay so we can now draw the signal okay if you draw the signal so here so n from zero okay so you know that xn x z will be n from 0 to minus infinity, not plus infinity. And it will be, it will be a minus n, we said minus n, correct? Okay. So we have to, we have to expand this power series section. Okay. So using this, okay, using this, we can see that x z will be, so, uh, so at 0, a minus zero, that means one. So it will be one, okay? So it will be here, no change. So the zero sample will be there, no change, okay? So you will have a zero, is at zero plus, okay? Then a one, so it will be a minus, so a, a, a one, so there is no, this sample is not there, no? So minus one sample is there, okay? So if you if you consider n is equal to minus one, so this will be a minus minus one. Okay, that means it is a one. Okay, a minus minus one. That is a one. Okay, correct. A to the power one. That means a. Okay, so you have here a, and is it also minus minus one? Is it n? Is it minus n? N no. So now 
uh, now n is minus one, so it will be z minus minus one. So you will have z, correct? Okay. Plus. So if you have the second sample, okay. So it will be a minus minus two. That means a is square. Okay. So you will have a square here. Okay. So you will have a square here, and z also z minus minus two. That means z is square. Okay. Plus, so if you consider this sample, it will be a minus minus three. That means a three. Okay, so that means this sample is shift to here, the mirror image of this sample. Okay, so this distance should be shifted from this side. Okay, so that is the mirror image, no? Okay, so it will be a three is at three. Okay, so on a four is at four, so on up to infinity. Okay. So you can see that now this is also a power series expansion. Okay, this is also a power series expansion. So this will be one. This will be let's say that it is x. So this will be x square. This will be x to the power three, x to the power four, plus x to the power five, so on up to infinity. Okay. So this is our. So this time series is like this. Okay. So this is the. Infinite time, uh, infinite power series, geometric power series. So, uh, so this type of power series we can represent as one by one minus x. Okay, so we have already know this. This is a Taylor series expansion. Okay, and this uh, the x, this x, the magnitude of this x should be less than one. Okay, so this is the condition. To exist this power series, so this is the condition to exist this this power series. Okay, so <clears throat> if I look at this power series, okay, so that is x z, that is x z. So I can write it as so here one a z, a z d square. Okay, so this is one a z plus a z d square plus a z. Three plus a is at four, so on. So I can say that one divided by one by a is at. Okay. So this is the set transform. Okay. Then how to find the ROC? How to find the ROC? Okay. To find the ROC, we have to use this condition. Okay. That means this part a is at magnitude of a is at should be less than one. Okay. <clears throat> so if I want to find the z, okay. So if I divided this by magnitude day and this side also divided by magnitude day, so it will be one magnitude, day, okay. So you will get, I think, the same result, no? So here we get it using a, a normal approach, principal approach, okay. We get this answer, okay, and that is. Identical to this one, no? okay. So we have a one minus a is at R O C one by uh, one minus a is at. correct, okay. So I think we get it. okay. So I think uh, you get it, okay. Mm, okay. So. Uh, Actually, now, uh, now you have so you are available only with this property, okay? Time reversal property, okay? So you can see that how these properties can be uh, can be uh, used to find to analyze the uh, is a transform of uh, signals or systems, okay? So actually, there are a few more important properties, okay? So let us uh, let us uh, get back to another property. Okay. So okay. So this one also very important, and it is called multiplication property. Okay. So it will be called multiplication property. Multiplication property. Okay. So this is the problem. This is the. Um, this is the property now we are going to learn okay 
so uh, so multiplication property means in the same manner if we have x n the time domain sequence okay and if we get the z transform okay and if we get the z transform we will have let's say we will have capital x z so this is the z transform okay okay and uh, let's say that mm, uh, let's say that mm, let's say that mm, um, let's say that uh, the roc for this roc for this is r okay so this is the roc for this uh, this signal is r okay let's say okay so multiplication property means okay if you have multiplied by this signal multiplied by this signal actually this property is very important okay i will tell you why is that okay if you multiply this by any value okay let's say that uh, actually these properties we have already 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 uh, already we have used this property okay already we have seen this property but we didn't extract it as a property okay now we are going to extract them those things as a properties those common things we can extract as a property okay so if you have any common things if you are going to do any analyzing or something okay so if you have see some common things okay that can be justified to every cases okay so that will be a property okay so you can you can keep it remember you, you can remember it as a pro you can keep uh, that in your mind as a property okay so so that uh, if you if you come across uh, such a case okay then you can directly apply it okay you can directly get the answer Okay, so that is why we are extracting this kind of properties, okay, to make our calculation and analyzing simple, okay, to make our calculation and analyzing simple, we are extracting this type of properties, okay. So let's say that uh, if if we have multiplied this x n by a complex number with n uh, n. in uh, what is called n uh, power okay okay so we have x n so is a transform of this signal will be is it minus n naught okay is it minus n naught is not okay it will be um, if i couldn't remember let me check okay i'm sorry so anyway we have to go to back to your go back to your notes okay So actually, this is the properties. Okay, so this is the property table. Okay, uh, so uh, we have already learned this property. Okay, we have already learned this property. Okay, and also we have learned this property. Okay, and now we have so these are in previous lectures. Okay, please no, please refer them. Okay, and now we have just now we have discussed this one. Okay, we have discussed this one, and now. We are discussing actually that property is not mentioned. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. This one. Now we are is discussing this one. Okay. So here it is mentioned and scaling. Okay. Scaling in this term. Okay. So now we are going, now we are now we are discussing about this property actually. Okay. Uh, so 
it is also referred as multiplication property actually multiplication by z not multiplication by uh, multiplication by a scale complex scale property okay so it will also introduce a scale in z domain okay that is what it said okay we will see what is that okay we will see what is that okay so this is the property so it will be okay it will be x capital x okay is said divided by z not correct so this is the property okay so in your note it is in another form no so but it is uh, the same concept okay so here a n a n x n so it will be a minus z okay so i will use this uh, uh, this notation okay so it will not confuse you confuse you okay so so this will be your okay here it is not uh, so uh, so here instead of z i put a okay instead of z i put a okay so a, okay a n okay a n okay x n so this is a n no? this is a n this is n okay so sorry this is a this one so this will be a okay so in your books it is written as so it here it is z by a so they get it up here is at a minus one okay correct so this is the uh, this is the multiplication properly of property of uh, the z scaling property let's say it is the z scaling property okay okay i think you you are not confused enough so here i have write it as z not 10 okay then i change this to a okay and here i have written this as z by z not so by z not i get out so instead of z not i use a so it will be a minus one z okay so this will be the property okay okay so you can see that the region okay the roc will be roc will be okay roc will be this okay roc will be this okay so uh, so here you can see that this is the roc for the original one okay and uh, this is the roc for the later one the scaled one okay so it is the roc is uh, multiplied by magnitude of a no okay so that is the things we have done so here you can say that if the roc is r here for this signal for this roc is magnitude a correct okay okay so this is the multiplication property okay so we will try to understand this okay we will try to understand this okay let's uh, let's uh, let's try to find the solution uh, so i think uh, <clears throat> i will uh, i will be not uh, doing the examples okay i will be not doing the examples because uh, those examples are already solved okay so that you can refer them and you can try by yourself to uh, do that okay by yourself to complete that so if you have if you can do the examples okay then you can face the exam okay so uh, so i will be doing there are some problem but it is not solved okay so i will select uh, some problem from that okay so these are not solved no? okay so i will be trying to do okay 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 i think uh, okay let's take this example okay okay so can you try to find this this one it is not given okay so can you try to find this one okay 
extend is equal to n a n okay n a n Omega naught n u n. Okay. Can you give a try to solve this one? Actually, here n terms is there, no? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me uh, tell another more properties. Another one properties. Actually, that one also you should learn. Okay. Uh, so this is multiplication property, okay? Multiplicate by, so this is multiplied by, multiplied by, multiplied by, uh, scalar value, a n, okay? So this is multiplied by this value, okay? And also we have, a, uh, we have a property, you should learn that one also, okay? So let's keep this property, okay? Let's keep this property in our mind, okay? Shall I remove this? No. Okay, there's another property, okay? So I will write it here. So we have learned the multiplication property. That is, uh, I will use the note, okay? I think you are not confusing, no? So if you have any problem, please uh, stop me and ask, okay? So, so because of my mistake, uh, sometimes you may confuse, okay? So if you are confusing, please uh, stop me and ask if you have any problem, okay? Is that property table? Okay, this is the property table. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so just we have learned this one, okay? So still, uh, maybe still we couldn't completely understand, okay? And we have this property. It is actually, it is also sometimes called multiplication property, multiplication by N, okay? Multiplication by N, and it is sometimes uh, called uh, using this one, okay? So uh, differentiation in the Z domain. So this property also you should learn, okay? This property also you should learn. Actually, we are supposed to learn this linearity property, time shifting property, <clears throat> time reversal property, okay, and this uh, differentiation property, okay, differentiation property, and scaling property, and also convolution property, okay. So these uh, six properties we are going to learn, okay. So already we have complete this one this one and this one with example okay now we are in here this one and now we are going to uh, still we didn't uh, discuss any example okay and now let's let's look at this property also okay let's look at this property also so this is a differentiation property what we said what we said actually it is actually said that Okay, if you have xn, okay, if you have xn, and if you get the z transform, it will be xz, okay, and if you multiply this a xn by n, okay, then your your this uh, multi multi uh, this product signal, okay, the z transform of this product signal will be d. X is a D 
is a minus is a. Okay, so you have to differentiate this is a. Okay, differentiate this x is a with is a domain, and it should be multiplied by minus is a. Okay, then you can get the. Then you can get the uh, same result. Okay, so so. So the ROC will be here. The ROC will be uh, ROC will not change. ROC will be same. R, the, the ROC for this signal and signal one and ROC for this signal will be same. Okay. So this this property is also very important when we are when we are analyzing systems. Okay. 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 So uh, now, uh, so please keep this in mind. Okay. So I have, I have, I have tell you that uh, this kind of uh, this kind of properties already we have learned. Okay. Can you remember that we have we have find this kind of we have already find this kind of uh, function. What are they? Just now we have find. So what is this? Here, if you find the UN, you can get the you can get the Z transform. Okay. And if you multiply this UN by AN, okay, you can get uh, you can calculate it uh, using the multiplication property. So this is also multiplication property, but here we didn't use the multiplication property. We just we just uh, uh, we just go in our uh, basic approach through our basic approach. No? So you can you can verify this. Okay. So you have we have already find the. Uh, so I think this is the example two or three we, we, we have done in our class. Okay. So we have found the Z transform of U n. Okay. Now the U n is multiplied by a n. So this product. Okay, this product. Okay, so this is the this is the set transform. Okay, this is the set transform, and you can verify this value, verify this result. Okay, using the multiplication property also. So do it as exercise. Okay, do it as a home home exercise property. Multiplication property means uh, it's a descaling property. Okay, it's a descaling property. Okay, so do this as example, uh, as exercise. Okay. That is why I tell you that already we have learned these things. Okay, but we didn't extract them as a uh, property. Okay, so using this instead of this u x n, you can put u n and see whether you get the correct value. Okay, for uh, for uh, for u n. As I can remember, I I get one by one minus is it? Okay, so this is I get. Okay, okay. <laughs> As I can remember, so if we get a n u n, okay, what happened? Instead of this is it, you have to put is it minus a. So it will be one by one my is it minus a. Okay, so is this this is the same result? No? This is the same result. This is the same result. Okay. Okay. Same result for this one. Okay. Okay. Did you get it? Okay. Okay. So I think it is okay. Okay. Now, okay. And also we have already already done this one also. So you can do this. Okay. So you you know. Okay. You know. The is a transform for U n, that is one by one minus is a, okay. That is the is a transform of U n, okay. So if you get n U n, this product product signal. So what what will what it will be, okay. So what you have to do, you have to plot. So you have to first differentiate this, 
this is x is it okay so let's say that this is x dash is it okay so x dash is it capital x dash is it will be equal to minus is it d x is it d is it correct okay correct okay so you can see that if you want to find the z transform of this signal okay so that is x is x dash is it okay so what is that that is you can find the z multiplied by d x is it d is it so this so you have to you have to differentiate this one okay so this is the ratio okay so to differentiate to differentiate it first we have to get this part one by z and you have to differentiate this it is zero and minus so you can keep this one one then you have to differentiate this one so zero minus one so it will be minus one divided by one by z square okay so you will get here minus minus one okay so you will get minus z one by z square this okay okay so so as a home exercise okay as a home exercise try to try to find i think uh, we have may, sometime we may have find this okay try to find try to find the is a transform is a transform for n u n in basic approach okay through basic approach through basic approach okay basic approach and you can compare the result okay compare the result okay so this result we get from this differentiation property okay from this differentiation property okay so now okay so now it is almost uh, 15 past 45 okay so if you have any work you can leave no issue okay so anyway i will solve this okay i will solve this and i will upload it okay i will upload this then you can refer it okay so if you have any lecture or something you can leave no issue okay so uh, also you can try to do this okay so that is uh, so, uh, so same example okay so now i think that same ex that example will have all properties okay i think that it will have all properties we can use uh, all the properties okay so this is the example let's take this one okay so it is x in n a n cos omega naught n u n okay so n a n cos omega naught n u n okay so try to find the z transform z transform for this signal okay for this signal okay um, so if you uh, can uh, please try uh, so take 10 minutes around 10 minutes and try to do by yourself then you can get the idea okay then after that you can refer my uh, lecture okay uh, so around uh, four o'clock i will be starting doing this okay so you can wait if you want okay otherwise you can leave no problem okay no issue uh, uh, anyway i will that done this today and i will upload this around two o'clock i will start okay uh, so anyway you can uh, you can leave if you have any work but if you wish to stay you can stay and uh, if you have any problem then you can clarify that this uh, moment okay so so any any issue any uh, things uh, any clarifications are there to clarify <laughs> 